What's up, YouTube? This is Joe for Chori Come on, you guys. Today, hope you have a great day in the market, man. Now, let me talk to you guys. We have another banger, man. Banger after banger, man. You guys cannot let me lie. Be me, AA, man. We talked about this one a couple of days ago. And look what it did today, man. Beautiful performance today. We hit 2012, 2020 stuff, you know, intraday. I hope you guys make some money because we are banking on this. So, some people were asking me what we have next. I mean, it can go higher. It definitely can. Look the um daily chart. And you're going to notice that there is more to go, right? I mean, this is a swing trade. This is not a day trade. Of course, you can always take profits uh, as far as, you know, every single day. But remember, you know, the, the end goal, right? Remember what Vera did. If you listen to what I said last night, and I told you guys that the Vera set up, right? It was still looking bullish. And today, if there was that opportunity to break in those 37, it was going to be able to go higher, right? And Vera ended up going today almost to 39.46. And that is since 37 breakout, right? So it's all about, again, stick out with the right setups. And then you guys are going to be able to make some good money, right? So if you guys don't want to miss those trades, because remember, I'll tell you guys, I do alert everything else, you know, early entries, early DD. Everything is being alerted in the Alpha community. As you can see here, everything is being dropped early like anybody else. Always take profits, you know, remember that, don't be greedy. But again, you know, the link is in the description if you want to join to us because this is where our all my trades, I'm a live trading today as well, every single day, you know, doing my best to be on top of the market. And of course, I'm be on other things as well. But again, let's see what would happen. You know, we had our FMC meeting yesterday. We went over the, uh, the rates and you see that today the market was a little choppy. It wasn't really doing much. Uh, but we do look on the calendar we do have we had some stuff this morning we have jobless report we got you know a couple of reports that kind of like add up to the volatility but we didn't have much over on the day right we got like an explosive morning several stocks like rally but then ended up you know pretty much pulling back so that really tells me that how the market still hasn't found a direction right now today we got a couple earnings right amazon and meta and they are actually doing pretty good right just the fact that they are doing being a performer like this good is really telling me that we might have a green day tomorrow, right? So keep this in mind. You know, we have someone, we can't have this momentum till tomorrow. So it is a possibility that we have green days tomorrow just because these are a big, you know, tech earnings. And again, these are the big brothers. So of course, this might have been reflected on tomorrow's price action, right? But like every day, I do draw my levels. You guys know this. I put SPY out there, you know, my SPY levels out there. If you pay attention with spy levels, of course, you guys were able to make some money as well, right? It's all about you know paying some attention and being patient, right? Early morning, you know, spy ended up you know being chopping in the morning, but ended up pulling back, right? We were looking to break uh, the level to the downside, and it never happened. But when spy reversed, if you were able to look those levels, you know, we were able. You guys should have been able to bank on that run up. You know, the moment he broke, our upside level has a nice run up to four eighty seven. You know, giving you, giving you guys a nice opportunity to make some money on calls, right? Now, of course, I do throw my guidance on Tesla and Media every single day as well, but only with my students, right? So if you guys don't want to miss those levels that I put in the guidance, you know what to do, join us, because this is where I have my options levels as well. If you guys want to know this. About Tesla, I know that it's another banger today. You can see here on Tesla, I had my 186.30 break, right? Which was given an S17, and Tesla ended up, being chopped at the beginning, but once you realize that Tesla start picking up a direction, right, only by following the lows, right, closing below, breaking the level, following the EMAs, you know, we know this already, right? We've been talking about this for some time now. You had from 186.30 to 184.50, and even Tesla, I think, went a little more lower to that intraday. But, you know, we wanted 194.20. But again, that was a nice trade. You know, remember, we don't have to over trade. I did not trade Tesla run up to the upside. I mean, it was a little choppy, but, you know, it's not for everybody. I remember at the end of the day, we only need to get one good setup and then we're, we're supposed to be done. So, and other than that, like I said, uh, just so just to focus on SPY, like I said, just because we had a nice run up today, I think that we might be able to make new highs. Yeah, so SPY is at 492.61 pretty much and after hours. Now it's pulling back some. Some people is already calling, uh, you know, spy to 500s, which is likely to happen. You know, if, if the trend remains like this, we talk about this and I tell you guys that the trend hasn't been broken. We pull back, and this could have been just a merely healthy pullback. And today, action really confirmed that.
So I'm expecting a green day tomorrow. I can be wrong. Things can change in the morning, but I'm just telling you what I'm more uh, expecting as far as, you know, the quarter and price action. So as far as levels, right, I will pretty much look on 492.61, which is the high of the days, break in order to make new high days and the pullbacks. Of course, if we do break the previous lows, which it was a 488.66. Now, as far as Tesla, uh, with this drop, and then a small recovery, as you see here, we're still trading on the same range for a couple of days now. You know, we haven't really broke away, right? We're still trading on those 184s, you know, 191s, 190s, and we haven't really broke away, right? So I do think that we're going to be following this range until it breaks either direction. And just because we have a good earnings, I think that tomorrow will be the chances of us breaking above for, you know, 190s, right? So keep an eye on it, guys, because we have this 191, uh, 0.71 higher of the days that if we do break, we shall be able to make some good run to like 199, 200, who knows? That's if bars step in tomorrow, right? So keep an eye on it. Now, NVIDIA, pretty solid stock. Like I said, bulls don't want to go nowhere, right? NVIDIA bulls are very, very strong. Today, reversal was very, very strong. In the morning, man, it was some choppy, but if you were paying attention, man, look at NVIDIA, man, like literally grow the 20 minute all day long since like 12 o'clock, right? So, it's all about wait for the right setup, guys. If you are if you're anxious and try to like you know trade a volatility, you're gonna get caught up on the wrong wrong setups. You know, just be patient. Some of them might take hours, some of them might take minutes, but if you are patient enough, you should be everywhere the right way, right? Now, as far as Spanish stocks, like I said, BMA, Alvigas Bank, you know, 20 point 20 high of the day. Now, what am I looking at? Right? The level we need to break out 20.68 in order to go higher. And again, now we do have to hold support as well. You know, 17.60 support, right? So there is still a chance that can be a pullback. If we do see 17s again or 18s again, that's a nice time to load up again, right? But the, the chart and the trend is looking pretty good. So keep that in mind. And of course, a couple of stocks that we've been talking about, you know, I went over GTA checks a while ago. And I told you guys that I had a nice PT on this, you know, the gap filled at a 6.80s, right? Of course, I did drop this, this you know, this setup, this trade, a while ago with my students. So they, they had this, they bank on this, and they're still loading on this. But, you know, just, you know, bringing it to your attention that this could be something to look up, right? Now, a couple of stocks that we trade today as well, you know, again, we are always on top of things, right? We trade SPWR, as you can see here, and on RBO. Uh, pretty good setups, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about, you know, being on on the right time. We were able to take uh, SPWR from 3.63s all the way to 3.90. Right, we check NRBO all the way for 463 to almost five dollars plus, right? So almost good trades there. And again, and sometimes again, if we do we have a loss, it's gonna be very minimal, right? We are very I am very patient and again. I'm a very, very uh hard with my execution. I don't let you know really have big losses. So it's all about you know again. Remember being a successful trader and consistent, it's all about you know, keep it green. Right now, let me talk about this is a stock that I'm gonna present you guys today, and I'm gonna make you guys some DD. Because I'm, I do believe we have huge potential today, right? The CMND, this stock, if you look in the charts, right? If you go look at the daily chart, not too long ago, they went through a reverse play, right? They had some type of bounce before, and now that drop created a bounce, uh, created a gap. If we look at the gap, today we have some good news, and the stock spiked to 224, but yet to fill the gap all the way down to 2.65, Right? You know, you can see the bars start accumulating. We have, you know, buy increasing. Our is still at 46, which is oversold, right? We only have, it's only a 2.89 million float stock. The volume was at 12.70 million today, which if you see the average volume is 2.31. So that's almost, you know, 10x, no 10x, almost six times their volume today, which is a good sign. And again, now the market is picking up. I'm expecting that tomorrow we have some type of run up or continuation on this, right? And not only that, because let's look it up on the DD. We we have today they had this they announced this exclusive long term licensing agreement with an Israeli company, right? Which is a good thing, right? And if we do look on their on the stats, now they do have you know three point fifty four million cash, which is not a lot, but they haven't really filled you know a, a, an offering yet, and I don't think that's really makes sense to me. Like they're gonna fill an offering once they have you know good trend, good volume. Now I do think that if one CMD runs and fills the gap, we'll have an next run up. Then you might want to worry about they might drop out an offering. But right now, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a time. I don't think it's gonna they're gonna do it anyways, because again, they will be dumb to do this. So keeping an eye, keeping an eye on that. And also, I did notice that 
they're gonna start in so an institution load up on the January 22nd, right? So that tells me that they are confident, right? If we look on the chart, like right, when 2022, they pretty much load up around one dollar, right? Let me tell you, institutions that don't buy for pennies, they don't buy for a dollar. They're looking for big gains. So do you think these guys are gonna they're gonna cash out in a dollar move? No, they're looking for a big move. And I'm not discarding and seeing this Betty Volatile can have crazy moves, you know, can make like a two dollar move, three dollar move. And it's going to happen quick, right? So you got to keep an eye on this one because it can happen really, really quick based on the DD. And of course, if it holds this trend that so far it has been doing okay, right? So, all right, then, guys, I think we're good. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. See me DM me, tag me in the chat, guys, please. I'm always checking you guys and doing my best to reach out to you guys, but I hope you guys are banking. And of course, you know, there's more setups that I can talk about, but of course, if you do want to know these setups, you know what to do, join the Alpha community, link is on the description. As you see, we've been talking about for several old setups. You can see here, right, guiding my students step by step, when to when to buy, when to exit, when to take profits. That is the guidance that many of you guys are looking for, and this is what we are providing here. So I hope to guys see you here tomorrow, and again, end it up in a week, and just let's, you know, get ready for a crush this new month, because February is just starting we have more to do more to talk your night was amazing as you can see now we let's get more bangers so i guess take care i'll see you guys tomorrow bye